one. So I picked up a couple of new things for my bedroom and I thought I would do a bedroom decor haul because I really enjoy watching these types of hauls and I really enjoy interior decorating and learning about cute little things you can pick up from different places that can just make your space more unique and more you. And I don't think there's enough of this type of video on YouTube. The first thing that I got that a couple of you guys have already noticed in my background is a new comforter, new shams, and a new duvet. And the reason that I got a new comforter is because I had the white one with the pom-poms on it. And I got it from PBT when I first moved to LA. So it was in my old bedroom in my old apartment in LA. And it wasn't meant to be a full comforter. When I bought it, I bought it just to have at the end of my bed. So it was just going to be like an accent piece. And then when I moved into this room, I really wanted like all white bedding. So I started using it as a full comforter and I just thought it looked a little young, like the little pom-poms. And so I just wanted something more romantic and elegant and girly. So I went to Anthropology and picked up the Georgina bedding in white, which this is the little picture that came with the bedding. So you guys can see like what it looks like on that bed. And I don't have the bed skirt because I actually have a really pretty um, like just white kind of see-through bed skirt that you can get it like anywhere like Bed Bath & Beyond or Target or something and it's kind of like a gauzy material but I did get the duvet and I got the two Euro shams that are back there so you can see that on the back of my bed and I really love it I think it's beautiful in videos and in person and that's kind of hard to do with bedding you would be surprised sometimes bedding can be really beautiful in person and just look kind of gaudy or tacky on camera so I really like this bedding I also got a new set of sheets because I was at Bed Bath & Beyond picking out my next item and I saw that the jersey sheets were on sale and I haven't had jersey sheets since I was in college and I loved them so I got a set in white and this is like what the pillowcase thing looked like if you guys want to go get it it's the pure beach jersey knit and I got the sheets and um, two sets of the pillowcases because since I use white pillowcases even though I'm really good at taking my makeup off every night I just feel like they need to be changed more often and also I like to change my pillowcases anyway often because it can cause breakouts and um, so I actually change them more than I change my regular bed sheets, but I change my regular bed sheets a lot too. I'm just kind of weird with washing my sheets and my towels more often than most people probably do. Then the reason I was at Bed Bath & Beyond is because I needed a filtered shower head. So I wanted this, I wanted to go and just get one. I didn't really care. I didn't know anything about shower heads, so I didn't know which one to get. And this is the one that was on the best deal. So it was $29.99 and it is a filtered shower head with massage. It reduces chlorine and it says it reduces sulfur odor and there's five spray settings and it looks like this and it also comes with a filter change. So you can change it. I think it says every six months maybe, which is actually not that often but I'll probably forget to change it. As I'm blonde, um, the water in LA makes my hair very green and yellow and just it discolors my hair since my hair is colored and every time I go to get my hair touched up my hair girl says you need to go get a filtered shower head. That is what your issue is but I also am going to get some purple shampoos and just try a lot of different things because um, my hair, I just hate that it doesn't look good after the first few weeks of having my hair colored. So I'm going to try this and if it makes a big difference, I'll let you guys know. But it wasn't that expensive and it will reduce the chlorine levels in my shower water. When I am at home at my parents' house, I don't notice that the water does anything negative to my hair. But in LA, it definitely does. And then the next thing I got is my favoriteest thing that I have for this haul. This is so adorable. I wanted a cute toothbrush holder for my bathroom because I don't like a lot of things on my sink, but my toothbrush holder holder is one of the few things that I actually keep on my sink and so I wanted something super cute and unique and I found this at Anthropology, and this is actually a pencil holder and I thought it would be perfect so it's a little white owl and this was only $16 which isn't that bad because it's a decorative piece that you can use a lot of different places in your house so even if you don't want to use it for your toothbrush you can use it on your desk with pencils you could put your makeup brushes in it I just think it's so cute only bad thing about this is that pine cone every single night jumps up on my bathroom sink and tries to knock it off and break it and I'm so protective of it because I think it's so cute and so I normally put it away where he can't get to it and every now and then I'll forget and I'll hear him in there and I'll like run to save 
receive it because I think it's so adorable. I also got this bird necklace holder from PB Kids and it just matched my room and I thought it was cute even though I don't really need any more jewelry holders or jewelry decor items. Um, I just thought it was cute and I liked the little bird detailing. And then I got these two little decorative soaps from Anthropology, and I'm not going to use them. I'm actually just going to use them as decoration, but this is what they look like. They smell super good, but I just thought the packaging of them were so pretty and like kind of vintagey and old timey. And so what I did is I just got one of the Glitzy Glam brush holders and I put them in there and I'm putting them on my bookcase just as decoration because I just thought the colors were so pretty together with the pastel purple and the pink and the blue and um, they're just really pretty and it's just like a little decorative touch. These are super boring but I got these from Bed Bath & Beyond and they're little acrylic book holders for my bookshelves so I got these in a couple different sizes. This is the medium size just so that I can hold um, some books up that are more like the decorative accents on my bookshelves and you can also put like little picture frames or just different things in them so I got a couple of these even though they're kind of boring and then I got these for Christmas but I wanted to show them to you because they are so cute in my room they are glass perfume bottles that are decorative and this one is from Z Gallery and this one is from Anthropology. This one's really, really pretty. And then this little one is from Z Gallery as well. And Blair picked these out for me. I think, actually, I don't know for sure if this one's Z Gallery or Anthropology because um, it doesn't have a sticker on the bottom. But I put these when you first walk into my room on my lingerie chest. And between these and my little Magnolia candle that I showed, I think, in my last room decor haul. And then this picture frame that I got from Forever 21 that I just put some wallpaper from back there in just for now. It's so pretty when you walk in my room and you have these little things. And then I also have a little lamp that I showed in my last room decor haul as well. And that's like one of my favorite areas of my room when you first walk in. And also I have my mannequin, my dress form from Pottery Barn Teen there that I have draped in pearls and a little white flower and it's I just love it. So that's everything that I've gotten from my room recently and if you like this type of haul video I can do more of these because I feel like I'm constantly buying little things, little unique things for my room and for my apartment and I just really like shopping for interior decorating things like um, room decor type accessories. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!